This is the last video I'm going to do on R formula. You will find this on page 465 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Express 5 cos theta minus 12 sin theta in the form R cos theta plus alpha, where R is bigger than 0 and the acute angle is between 0 and 90 degrees, giving the value of the acute angle correct to two decimal places. This is just like we did in the previous videos. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to use compound angles and I'm going to write this. Remember, that I, I'm leaving out steps sometimes, okay, because you're so familiar with it now, but it was, I just wanted to show you now in the video, that it was actually cos theta, cos alpha minus uh, opposite signs, sin theta, sin alpha. Okay, and then the R was multiplied in there. Okay, then I form my two equations, and if I form, it's just, I just say 5 equals A equate, so it's equal to R cos alpha minus, uh, and then there, um, 12, not minus, just 12, because the signs are the same, 12 equals R, and then it's going to be 7 at alpha. Okay, so if I divide, I get my angle, 2 divided 1, is, is, so the acute angle is 67.38. Then I get my value of R, I square the first equation, square the second one, and then take the square root, and I take the positive one, and that's 13. And then I basically just going to end with this. Okay, and now I, I'm going to use also my previous video. I find the greatest possible value, just the greatest. They can ask the least also, but in this case, just the greatest possible value of this. But now you must just take note. If you look, you have to compare it. So it's like, compare this with this. So there's the 5, can you see there's just a half and minus 12, but take note of the plus 7. Do you see that? Okay, so what will I start with? I'm ca I can say, I start with this basic, so the first, if I put a half and this angle, and then I'm, I'm going to a half of this angle, I must just do exactly the same. So in, this, in the place of this theta, I'm just going to put the new angle, a half. So then the greatest is still, if it's cos, it's still at positive 1, okay? Sin was also at positive 1. But now, I use this, do you see, but then, and, and this will be equal to this, it's 100% it's correct, but then I must just add the 7, add the 7. So it's 7 plus 13 multiply, because it was the 13, multiply that 1, so can I show you, the 13 comes from there, and the 1 comes from there, and then I just add the 7. I get 20. But now, they don't only want the uh, greatest possible value. So the greatest possible value is that 20. But they also want that new angle. And that new angle, they're just going to, I write it like this, I take it over, I add the 60, I uh, subtract the 67.38, and I multiply 2, and I multiply 2, and I get my final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 25. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number A. Express 5 cos theta minus 3 sin theta. And they always give me that. I can write it as an equation. Theta plus the whole. And then I'm just going to um, so express it and find the value of R and the value of um, the acute angle, correct to two decimal places. So just like the other one, I know it's cos, so it's cos theta, and then it's going to also be cos of that alpha, different sign, minus, I multiply already the R in, so it's sin theta and then sin the alpha. Okay. 
And now I'm just going to get my values. So there's the cos, there's the cos. There's the sin, there's the sin. So I'm going to say 5 is equal to R cos alpha, that's 1. Um, and 3 is equal to R sin alpha, that's 2. And now I'm just not to make it shorter, I'm just going to say 2 divide 1. Okay, and remember. If I divide, so the R's cancel and it will be tan. That's a cute angle. And it's, remember, 3 over 5. And now I'm going to find that acute angle. Make, so put your calculator on degrees. Press shift, tan, bracket, 3, divide 5, close the bracket. So therefore, that acute angle to two decimal places is 30.96. Now I'm going to find my value of R, and what I just do is I just square, and I <clears throat> take equation 1, I also square that, and if I do that, I will get, and now it's just going to be 5 squared plus 3 squared, and that's equal to R squared. So, and then I'm going to say R, now 5 squared is 25 plus 9, and that's going to be 34. But I'm going to say, therefore, R is positive 34. Why? Because R, what did I say there? Uh, uh, R is bigger than 0. Okay. And now I'm going to fill in everything. So I'm going to say, therefore, that yellow, I just substitute R and the acute angle. So 5 cos theta minus 3 sin theta equals um, r and what is r and then it's cos and it's theta and it's plus that angle where is my angle my angle there 30.96 okay and now i'm going to look at number b Uh, write down the smallest value. Now, I always have to compare. Compare first this with this. Then I see, oh, they multiply 3 and multiply 3. So, start the statement like this. So, the, okay. First you can say, okay, we can start there um, by saying the least value, because they talk smallest, or smallest value. Let's rather go to smallest. Um... Okay, so the least, the smallest value when, and remember from your graph, it's coming from your cost graph, um, the smallest one is when it's negative one. Okay, so now, now I use that statement. So 15 cos theta minus 9 sin theta is actually just three times the degree, where's my rate, three times this, 5 cos theta minus 3 sin theta. Okay, let's just move up. And that, in the place of that, I can now put this. So it's 3, and now I put brackets, so 3, 4, cos, and then it's theta plus 30.96, close the bracket, close the bracket. Okay, and now I'm basically just going to substitute that, that in. So I'm actually in the place of this again, can I show you? In the place of this, I'm just going to, because there is the angle, I'm going to substitute that negative one. So I'm going to get 3, and now, oh sorry, I want to keep it yellow, 3, there is my R, and in that place, I multiply with negative 1, okay. And that's just going to be negative 3, and I just leave it like that. That is in the simplest form, and that will be the smallest value, so, point. They are not asking me to find the angle. They just write down the smallest value. Okay, 
And that's how you do it.